Welcome to the Word Podcast. The Lord God has given us His Word. Let us learn it. Let us live it. Let us rejoice in it. Spread the Word. Blessings, everybody. This is Dale. Thank you so much for joining with me today on the Word Podcast. We continue our examination of the book of Titus, uh, a letter that Paul had written to his uh, what he described to as his uh, son in the Lord, okay, his child in the Lord. And we're in the second chapter, and if you remember the second chapter, the first verse began with this, but as for you, so it's transitional from the first chapter into the second chapter. In the first chapter, Paul had been talking about rebellious men and what was going on with them. But then he comes back and he says, okay, Titus, but as for you, you do this. You speak to things which are fitting for sound doctrine. So he tells them, okay, you speak to things, teach the things that, uh, that are sound. That's what doctrine means is just teaching. So you need to speak to things which uh, the ESV says accords with sound doctrine. And then he starts speaking about what these particular things are related to um, types of people, okay, people groups. And so in the last episode, we saw what he spoke to older men. So verse 2, it said this, older men are to be temperate dignified, sensible, sound in faith, sound in love, and sound in perseverance. Now, the way it's actually written, it says sensible, sound in faith, in love, in perseverance. And when you read that, you think, well, what is the in love and what is in steadfastness? What is in perseverance? Well, it connects back to the soundness, okay? And so he says, I want you to be this way. I want you to be, and the word sound literally means to be in good health, okay? To be in a safe a, a situation related to faith, to love, and perseverance. So he says that to the older men. Then in verse 3, he says, older women. Now, you know, being the wise person that I am, I am in no way going to seek to define what an older woman is. <laughs> okay? We had a lot of fun with this a few months ago when we were going through Titus in our local Bible studies. Uh, you know, a lot of times people say, well, is it this, is it that? And no, we don't need to be distracted by that. Okay, because it's speaking of those that are simply older, whether it's experiential, whether it's chronological, whether it be in the faith. But there's going to be times where there may be somebody who's 25 years old who is older in the faith, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> older in the faith than someone who's 50 years old. Okay, so it's not so much uh, worried about the age as it is about the maturity. Okay, you may be more mature in the faith, though someone may be 50 years old and they're mature in uh, life, and yet they become a new believer, and they're able to join that faith and that belief with maturity in life, and it's a wonderful thing. But just listen to what he says right here. The idea behind this is that as people, uh, ladies who are older, they're older of age, and you're about to see why, because they're going to help younger women, and uh, they're older in the faith too. So verse 3, older women, likewise, whoa, 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 likewise, Likewise to what? <laughs> it's in comparison to what? Well, it's the older men. Okay, so the verses just flow together. So listen to this again. Older men are to be temperate, dignified, sensible, sound in faith, sound in love, and sound in perseverance. Older women likewise. So the idea is to be in the same manner of the older men, in the same way that men are to be like this. Older women likewise are to be reverent in their behavior. Okay, they're to be reverent in their behavior. The idea is that uh, that is befitting of holiness, that's befitting of the things of God, okay? or to be reverent in behavior, not malicious gossips. <laughs> I always like that New American Standard translation of it because it's like, well, can I be just a gossip and not a malicious gossip? No, 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 no. Uh, the ESV and Alexa both translate that as slanderers slanderers, okay? Uh, what's the King James say? Not false accusers. Ooh. You see the benefit of sort of looking at three or four or five, however many different English translations because they all have little nuances. And when they're brought together, it really gives us a better understanding. So the older women are to be reverent in their behavior. They're not to be malicious gossip. In other words, slanders or false accuser, accusers. Not enslaved to much wine, Okay. What do you mean enslaved to much wine? In other words, you are not enslaved to uh, an abundance of wine to where you're getting drunk. Really, as believers, we're not to be enslaved to anything. 
uh, other than the Most High God. We're bond slaves to Him. And notice it says much wine. Again, the same thing that was said of uh, the older men, okay, that they were to be uh, uh, self-controlled and things. The same thing that was said of the elders and overseers and that type of thing. Not to be enslaved to wine, to much wine. Out of my background, people took that, oh, that means that you're not so, totally totaler, you know, teetotalers. You're not supposed to uh, partake at all. That's not what the Scripture says at all. But you're not to be enslaved to it, not to be enslaved to much wine. We're not to be enslaved to much of anything, okay, when it comes to food or drink, everything in moderation. So look what these older women are to do. They're to be reverent in their behavior, not malicious gossips, not a slave to much wine. The next phrase, teaching what is good. Okay, they're teachers of what is good. Well, why are they to do all this? Well, verse 4 tells us, so that they may encourage the young women to, and then it's, there's a list here about what the young women are supposed to do. And I'm trying to decide, you know, i tell you what, I think I'm going to, uh, we'll pick up the young women in the next episode. But I want you to notice something right here because we're running out of time. That the older women are doing all these things because these are things that we're all supposed to do. Okay? We're all to be reverent. We're all to not be malicious gossip. All of us are not to be enslaved to much wine. All of us are to teach what is good. But then it says, so that they may encourage the young women. One of the primary roles of older women within the body of Christ is to encourage younger women. Okay? Is to set the example for younger women. To help the younger women. And we'll, we'll see in a minute related, I mean, next episode, related to what, okay? Uh, but it really is in all things of life. That is a role and responsibility. The older men are to help and be models and examples for the younger men. Older win, uh, women, models and examples for younger women. Again, folks, if we would simply do what the word tells us to do, if we would live this way, if we would know it, abide by it, and, and live our lives and do these type of deeds, the body of Christ would be so different, and we really, really, really would be uh, useful for the work of the kingdom of God. But sadly, rather than that, for the most part, we're just spinning our wheels and we're looking around trying to come up with ways to do things which we think would be pleasing to God. You know, it's the more I get into these things, the more I see, the longer I live. Uh, it's just amazing how man will do so much to avoid what God has called us to do. Okay, We'll do great things in the name of the Lord. We want to do this. We want to do that. And we're so zealous about it. But we simply won't do the things that he's called us to do because we think those are not adequate. We think we've got a better idea. And man's had that problem all along, okay? So anyway, we'll pick it up next time. We've seen what the older men are supposed to do. We've seen what the older women are supposed to do. And the whole point, older women, so that they may encourage the young, younger women. And then we'll see what that's all about. Again, I'm Dale. I'll see you then. <laughs>